Hey, it's Joni from SimpleLivingMama.com and today I wanted to talk to you guys about keeping house with kids. So even if you have a house full of little kids like I do, there is a way to bring some order to your home and to keep your home mostly clean. Um, and I wanted to talk to you guys about my system and how I do things. So. I have a few tips and I'm just going to dive right into them. So the first tip that I have is to make a plan. Um, this is my cleaning calendar and I, I make a new one each month and this just helps me to stay on track with all of the cleaning things that I need to get done in my home. So um, I have tasks divided out. I have daily tasks weekly tasks, and then zone cleaning tasks. And I guess I'll just go ahead and talk to you guys about um, what each of those things are and how it works. So every single day, we make the beds, we tidy the kitchen, we do a quick declutter of the house, we, um, we do laundry, and we do dishes. This happens almost every day unless there's something going on where we're going to be out of the house all day. These are the things that we do. And um, now I have weekly tasks assigned to each day. So this is something that I will do once a week. So on Mondays, I do dusting. On Tuesdays, I will clean mirrors and glass. Wednesdays is mopping day. Thursday is vacuum day. And then Friday is bathroom day. And those are not like deep cleaning tasks. Those are just, you know, surface tasks like um, getting major dust off of uh, appliances or whatever and then with the bathrooms it's cleaning the toilet making sure that the showers are fairly clean um, making sure that the floors are clean and all of that stuff so um it's not a deep clean now what I do for deep cleaning is my zone cleaning tasks and those every week I take a different room in my house and um, I do deep cleaning of that room. And I'll spend 15 minutes a day on zone cleaning. And what that means is, let's say I'm zone cleaning the bathroom. So one day I may um, dust all the cobwebs or whatever off of the ceiling and clean light fixtures and stuff like that. And then the next day I'll deep clean the shower and the bathtub. The next day, I will uh, declutter the cabinets and get those all cleaned out and everything. So, um, that is, that's my plan. And that's how I have it written out here on this cleaning calendar. And, um, other zones of my house include, like, the living room, the laundry room, the linen closet, the coat closet, the kids' bedrooms, the master bedroom, so on and so forth. So this brings me to my next tip. So I have five small children and I am expecting my sixth child. This is a guide. This isn't something that I have to live by. This is what I do What in a perfect world if I could clean every single day. This is what I would accomplish every single day. But let's be real here. It doesn't work that way in my house because... Um, you know, it might be dusting day, but my toddler spills powdered Kool-Aid all over the kitchen floor and I end up having to mop, you know. Things get shuffled around, different things get done. So what I do is I just pick up where I left off. Even if I'm supposed to be dusting because it's Monday, if I didn't get to the, um, the bathrooms last week, they need to be cleaned, I'll do that, you know. It's just... <laughs> I like to follow this, but that's not always the way that it goes. Um, it's just, it's sort of like a guide of, okay, this is what I want to accomplish, but I may not get to that today. I might have to wait until tomorrow. And I have a blogging friend who talks about looping, and this is kind of what it is. So I know that um, I need to clean my mirrors and my glass. And it's a sign for Tuesday, but I couldn't do it today because we were out running to different doctor's appointments or whatever, and it's now Wednesday. So I'll just go ahead and I'll do the mirrors and glass today, and then I will worry about the mopping tomorrow. 
whatever. Make life work for you. Make this work for you. Do not work for it. My third tip is going to be get your kids involved, even if they're little. Um, now, if they're very young, you are going to have to work with them. Obviously, they're not going to be able to do the dishes all by themselves. A two-year-old is not going to be able to do the dishes by himself. A three-year-old is not going to be able to do, to do it by himself. But you can start by having him watch you unload the dishwasher. Okay, here's some plastic silverware. This is where it goes. Can you put this where it goes? Slowly build up until they are capable of taking over that chore themselves. So at this point, my two oldest children are eight and six, and they can unload and load the dishwasher for me. And that's not something that has to be on my plate. It's not something that I have to do every single day. Um, I, I will do it at times, and when I do it, it's clean to my standards, but at the same time, um, they can do that chore, and even if they don't do it per perfectly as I would like it, it is teaching them responsibility. They are learning that they are part of this family and that um, we all have to work together to keep the house clean. And I have them do that with all of my daily chores. So they help with the laundry. They help with decluttering the house and putting up their own things because I'll be honest, a lot of the clutter belongs to my kids. We homeschool, we're in the house all day long. They need to put their school books up where they go. They need to put their toys back where they go. And, um, you know, so on and so forth. So we all work together. And if you can hear my kids crying in the background, I'm sorry, daddy's on duty right now. But, um, it's just, okay, that is just the way that it goes. Get your kids involved, have them help. Even a four-year-old, I have a four-year-old, he can empty small waste baskets. Um, you know, he can get the trash out of the bathrooms. He can, um, he, of course, he can help clean up his own mess, his own toys and stuff. Get your kids involved and have them help. Okay, let's see. For zone cleaning, this is the last thing that I want to talk about. So, on my particular um, cleaning calendar, I have the zone cleaning task broken down to doing like one or two tasks per day each week for that particular zone. Some days, I cannot get to those zone cleaning tasks at all. And I specifically do not have anything other than just the regular daily stuff assigned for Saturday and Sunday. Because, for example, this past weekend, I needed to deep clean my bathroom. I didn't have time to do one or two tasks throughout the week. I just went in there, took an hour, and deep cleaned my bathroom while my husband kept up with the kids. So, you know... It doesn't have to be exactly as written on the paper. Make the time to get it done. If it has to be moved to the weekend and you have to, um, you know, sit down and to, to, do, to do the entire zone um, during the weekend, then that's fine. It just depends on what season of life that you are in. Like, you know, when I have a nursing baby, um, it's easier to do a little bit at a time than it is to do you know, one big clean. It just depends on, you know, the season and how things are going. But this, this particular system that I use does have it to where I am cycling through different areas of my home and I'm keeping up with cleaning those areas. So that way I don't have to spend, um, an entire week deep cleaning the entire house. You know, a little bit is done each week and the house stays fairly clean. It's, it's not perfect. We live here. We have kids. Um, we have more kids than the average person. So our house, uh, you know, may not be clean to your mother-in-law standards or whatever, but it's, it's clean enough for me and it's clean enough for them because they, they don't really care. My husband was helping with the dishes this morning and he's like, I know that you like to have a clean kitchen, so that's why I'm doing this, even though it doesn't really bother me. And I'm just like, how can dirty dishes not bother you? But, um, it doesn't bother some people. It bothers me. Anyway, those are my tips for getting your house clean, um, when you have, 
you know, even if you have little kids. If you don't have little kids, this schedule will work perfect for you because, you know, especially if you're like a stay-at-home mom or whatever and your kids are older, you can definitely devote time to getting this, uh, this done every single day and it shouldn't be too big of a problem. Um, if you're interested in getting my cleaning calendar, I will leave the links down below so you can go check that out. I have uh, some other blog posts on my cleaning routines. Um, I'll pop a card up for a video that I did on my morning cleaning routine. So this is, you know, my, my daily stuff, what I do every day. I did a video on how I get all that started and all that done. Um, and I need to work on showing you our cl evening cleaning routine, even though that doesn't involve just me. That involves pretty much the entire family because, you know, like I said, I'm a mom. I don't live in this house alone. I have other people who contribute to the mess, and I do believe that everybody needs to pitch in somewhat to get the house back in order. It shouldn't be put on one person. So that's just my take on it. Anyway, if you liked this video, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos on homemaking. I also do homeschooling videos. I love to talk about homeschool preschool stuff. It's like one of my favorite topics. <laughs> so um, if you like stuff like that, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you stick around and I will talk to you later.